This is your March energy update and the, uh, the topic for March is expansions of consciousness and raising vibration. And I'm going to talk more about what those mean and how they're showing up. So this is going to be a little bit of information. I've got a lot to say, so stick with me because it's important. I think you're really going to want to know about this. Um, first off, what I've been seeing in my clients is, um, and this is over the past two weeks, maybe the past three weeks, is a, a slow moving, a slow process of moving into expansions of consciousness. So I've had about four sessions like this that really stood out. Some people are already in this process of a major opening occurring. Other people are just starting. And then there are some other people who are right on the precipice. So they may be experiencing shifts in perception that are leading to that bigger shift in consciousness. So this is a process that happens primarily in the sixth chakra. That is the seat of perception. It's all the mental processing. But, and this is important, as that sixth chakra energy is opening and expanding, other places in the body are opening and expanding with it. It's something that has to happen together because there are patterns, right, that I talk about quite a bit. Everything is connected and we have these patterns. So as you're shifting, you have to be able to clear out the old stuff, right? That's all the old traumas, all the old emotional uh, patterning, all the old stuff that gets stuck in the system that keeps us from moving forward. Those things have to move out together simultaneously. That's important. I'm going to talk more about that, but that's a key piece of this process. So this is related to the astrology of the moment that we're in. Um, we have some major shifts going on. In fact, I think it is today, Ashley, that Saturn is changing signs from Aquarius to Pisces. Big shift in the energy. We've also got Pluto changing signs at the end of March. I believe that's on the 23rd, um, moving from Capricorn into Aquarius. So I can't give you all the details and the full rundown on that, but there is a major emphasis on shifts in consciousness, expansion of consciousness. And I love Pam Gregory. Uh, you can find her, view, her videos on YouTube. She's wonderful. You can get all of the information. But it's important to know it. I always bring in the astrology because I always see it reflected in the energy. So, for example, I was about to make this video about shifts in consciousness, and then I watched her video, and she said, here's what's coming is these expansions of consciousness. Okay. So it's always lining up. Um, so here's what's important. Major expansions of consciousness can be destabilizing. And this is, um, this is not to scare anyone, but this is, it's, it's important for you to know. When we move, the reason that this is important right now is that this is, these changes are happening quickly. So this is something that could happen much more quickly than it usually would. Um, so this is, you know, if you are someone who is dabbling in plant medicines or other mind altering substances, mind expanding substances, this is something that you want to uh, pay attention to. So I'm going to get into a little bit more detail about this. Um, first, let's talk about why they can be destabilizing and, and this is all about the difference between expansions of consciousness and raising vibration. Um, so let me talk about that a bit. Raising vibration can lead to these expansions of consciousness, but a, an expansion of consciousness without raising vibration does not, um, does not lead to a raise in vibration. It doesn't shift you um, as a whole person. The whole integral um, energy system does not move together as it does when you raise vibration. So let's get into a little more detail on, on, on what that means. In an expansion of consciousness, again, this is happening in the sixth chakra. Um, it means that you have this sudden opening where suddenly you are perceiving things in different ways. You're seeing beyond what you saw before. You might feel like your mind is traveling quickly, you know, at light speed out to different places. So think about people that you know or who you may have seen videos of who, um, who's, who are really out there, right? They're going in a bunch of different directions and um, often it is a scattered presentation. Or they might just be going, 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 going far, 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 far out, but they're not necessarily here, right? They're not oftentimes not present here anymore. And what you don't feel from them a lot of times is you don't feel that sense of a higher state of being or an enlightened state 
or any um, of these sort of that they exude um, inner peace or a compassion or a sort of higher wellness. That isn't present. It's just this sort of running of the mind. So that is an expansion of consciousness without an accompanying raise in vibration, which affects the whole energy system. Now that can be destabilizing, especially if you have people who are, for example, very attached to certain belief systems, certain ideas that means it's th certain things are very hardened, um, fanatical about something. Again, certain things are very hardened, set in place. When you have a massive expansion like that, that can be very destabilizing for that person. And for, you know, there are a million different ways that that could manifest or show up. So everyone is unique and different. I'm just giving you one sort of extreme example. And that's something to just to, to reflect on. Okay, now what is a raise in vibration and what's the difference? Well, a raise in vibration begins in the core. It's in your energetic core. That is this center area of your body. So think second chakra, third chakra, and heart chakra, fourth chakra. So when you have this change in the core, it emanates out. It's stable. It's at the center. It's balanced and it emanates out. It gets into the field of the heart. The heart carries that vibration, that shift. The heart's electromagnetic field is at least 60 times stronger than that of the brain. You can look up HeartMath Institute to find more about that. Basically, the messages of that shift are getting carried out to the entire system and the expansion, rather than being separate and in only one area and then shooting out in different ways, it happens slowly and it's like this. It's this nice, slow, steady expansion. It comes with an expansion of energies of the heart. Energies of the heart, love, compassion, gratitude, kindness, uh, joy. So you'll find that people who carry that type of shift, um, people like um, some spiritual leaders, Ram Dass comes to mind for me. If you think about listening to Ram Dass, the consciousness has also expanded. It's out there, but it doesn't feel like it's going in 10 different directions or it's going, 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 going and not coming back, right? It feels like everything is together, is integrated and they exude a sense of, of this peace and calm and awareness and higher states, it's all together. So uh, in my opinion, you wanna go with the <laughs> move towards a higher vibration. Um, think about all of it together. So let's say, you know, what can you do? Well, do the, do the, do the work of the whole. Remember your body in all of this. Remember that the body holds lots of things and all of that needs to move, needs to, to process um, any any of your 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 awareness practices your mindfulness practices your meditations your yoga your all of those things your energy work are all going to be really important right now as part of this process for integrating now how can you work on raising vibration specifically the fav my favorite way is to work with guides so if you know me you know I'm a channel I do a lot of work with guides when we work with higher level guides, we are able to connect to these much higher vibrations. Then we, as we work with those guides, we adapt, we shift in our vibration, we raise our, our vibration. So not only is this period of the spring going to be a time that um, we, can, we can expand consciousness, we can also really raise vibration. Both of those things are are, there's huge potential for both right now. Um, and this is gonna go for about three months. So think of this as a period going all the way to those eclipses. Again, this isn't a short, fast and done. It's a process um, that you, you may find yourself in. In fact, a lot of people are going to find themselves in these processes. Keep that in mind. So if you want to work on the whole and raising your vibration, dip into some of the channeling that's out there. Um, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. There are a lot of people who are doing channelings, a lot of good work out there, things for you to, to, to listen to. And if you feel like you're ready 
to, to really dive into this and to move, move to the next place, to a much higher state, then you can join me because I am starting a program. I'm starting registration today, as a matter of fact. It's called the Awakened Active Action Intensive Program. Uh, we are going to begin next week and we work very closely with high vibrational beings, spirit guides, who are going to work with you to move you to that higher state in a sort of a compressed time period. So if you're ready, it's going to be, it'll be a ride, so you have to be ready for it. But if you are, then check out the link, click on the link in the uh, text below, and I will see you there. And uh, if not, I will see you at my next energy update. And have a wonderful month, everyone. I hope that it goes well for you. Feel free to put your comments and questions below. Bye for now.